Imagine a coin spinning in the air, not yet landed on heads or tails. This state mirrors a qubit, the fundamental unit of quantum computing. Unlike classical bits, qubits can be in a superposition, a blend of both states. This gives quantum computers immense power, but also extreme fragility. Even the slightest disturbance can collapse a qubit's superposition. This sensitivity to noise is a major hurdle in building reliable quantum computers. Error correction is crucial to safeguard the fragile quantum realm. The culprit behind this quantum fragility is decoherence, the process by which qubits lose their quantum properties due to interactions with their environment. Imagine a ringing bell slowly fading away as its energy dissipates into the surrounding air. Similarly, a qubit's delicate superposition can be disrupted by stray electromagnetic fields, temperature fluctuations, or even collisions with air molecules. These interactions act like tiny nudges, pushing the qubit out of its superposition and into a definite classical state. The longer a qubit is exposed to this environmental noise, the more likely it is to decohere, scrambling the quantum information it holds. This is akin to trying to whisper a secret in a noisy room, the message gets distorted and lost amidst the surrounding clamor. Decoherence is a fundamental challenge in quantum computing, as it limits the duration and complexity of computations that can be performed. To overcome this, researchers are developing error correction techniques to protect qubits from the detrimental effects of noise, essentially creating a quiet space for quantum computations to unfold without disruption. Think of a soap bubble, shimmering with iridescent colors, representing a delicate qubit in its superposition state. Now imagine a gentle breeze, representing environmental noise, disturbing the bubble's fragile surface. This seemingly insignificant disturbance can cause the bubble to wobble, lose its shape, and eventually pop. This analogy highlights how even the slightest environmental interactions can disrupt a qubit's superposition, leading to errors in quantum computations. Just like a bubble exposed to wind, a qubit exposed to noise loses its quantum properties, making it behave like a classical bit. This loss of coherence undermines the entire purpose of using qubits for computation. The challenge lies in shielding these fragile qubits from the constant bombardment of environmental noise. Researchers are exploring various approaches, such as building quantum computers in extremely isolated environments, using specialized materials to minimize noise, and developing sophisticated error correction codes to detect and correct errors as they occur. Building a quantum computer is like assembling a puzzle with pieces that disappear and reappear. Error correction keeps track of these elusive pieces. Classical methods won't work due to the peculiar nature of qubits. You can't copy a qubit like a classical bit. Measuring a qubit destroys its superposition. Quantum error correction encodes information across multiple qubits. This creates a logical qubit resilient to errors. Like synchronized swimmers, the information remains intact. Researchers use algorithms to detect and correct errors without measuring individual qubits. The quest for fault-tolerant quantum computers has spurred a race among tech giants like Amazon and Microsoft, each pursuing different approaches to error correction. Amazon is exploring bosonic error correction, which uses special particles called bosons to store and process quantum information. These bosons are inherently less susceptible to noise, offering a promising avenue for building more stable qubits. Microsoft, on the other hand, is betting on topological qubits, which encode information in the way particles move around each other. Imagine braiding strands of hair. The information isn't stored in the hair itself, but in the pattern of the braid. Similarly, topological qubits are less prone to errors because their information is encoded in a more robust, topological way. These are just two examples of the many innovative approaches being explored to tame the delicate nature of quantum information. The path forward remains challenging, but the progress made by companies like Amazon and Microsoft, along with dedicated efforts by researchers worldwide, brings us closer to unlocking the transformative potential of quantum computing. If you've enjoyed learning about why quantum computers make so many errors and how companies are working to fix them, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends who love tech breakthroughs as much as you do.